Hello everyone, and welcome to Planetside 2 How To. Today we're doing something a little different. We're going to be showing you how that galaxy and this Sunderer are going to make awesome happen. First of all, we have to get on top of that guy. Now, we're going to make sure we're lined up. This is a bit of a, a difficult process. This area we're using right now is Swarva, or Sarva, or however you want to pronounce the bloody thing. We're on the northern part of the continent here, just after the warp gate switch. So I'm going to back slowly up the ramp here, or stairs, ramp for me, and on to the galaxy. The reason I back on is because the target we're going for is up in front of us, and this thing turns like a bar of soap on roller skates. It's absolutely terrible. So we need to have good communication with our pilot here. We're going to get him to just pop himself up. The first key you have to remember is this takes a lot of small adjustments. Small, small, small. I can't emphasize that enough. You have to be very, very careful with this. It's a very delicate maneuver. So once he's wrenched himself free of the platform, up we go. You can see we do slide around a bit as he does go up, so you have to be very careful. You can see my wheels turning a little bit here and there as I drive forward to keep up with him. Now, the best way to drive this is not actually to use any forward thrust. The W button you normally use to make yourself go forward, we're not using. We're actually just tilting the aircraft forward by putting the nose down and using the vertical thrust just to throw, throw us forward here. Now, normally I do record the audio at the same time I do this, but this takes a lot of concentration, so you have to bear with me as I try and uh, keep up with my video. It's a lot of quick adjusting and almost falling off the nose, as you saw there. A good tip to stay up on top of these guys is to make sure that your back bumper is a little bit in front of the top turret of the galaxy. You can see I'm sliding off to the side there a little bit. Now notice when I do my turns, if you look at those front wheels, I do cock the wheels fully in one direction or the other before I start my turn. Otherwise, I will, I will not get the tighter turning radius that I need. In fact, the best way to think about this is you're not on an aircraft, you're actually on a movable piece of road. Because for every foot that the galaxy goes forward, your Sunderer has to follow. You see me put on the brakes there too, you don't want to roll off the nose and you don't want to fly off the tail, so it's a lot of constant adjustment. You gotta be really careful. Oops, sliding around, almost off the nose again. Just trying to back up here. Ooh, you're getting a little sideways. Make sure your pilot and you have excellent, excellent communication. Uh, we used a Ventrilo for this, so we didn't have to use any push-to-talk options. I know the game does it, but for us it was just a lot easier in case something drastic happened. See me backing up on the tail there. I'll try and give you a better look here in a minute. You see me just turning sideways. I'm just trying to show you guys what it's how you're supposed to be situated. I tried to do this in first person with disastrous results. It's a lot harder to gauge where you're supposed to be. So make sure you are in third person for this. Third person is by pressing the T button. T for Tango. As we're doing with this galaxy right now. Trying not to fly off the wings. I decided to show you the Sunderer for this. Because out of all the, the vehicles, this one is the hardest to drive on top of a galaxy. It's very, very finicky. It likes to roll over, it likes to slide. I, I, sometimes I, I swear that, you know, the wheels are coated with butter or something. If you've ever driven one, you know what I'm talking about. You'll fly down a hill at Mach 6 backwards if you're not careful. So there's our target up in front of us there now. That's the landing pad. Now keep in mind, your pilot doesn't have to be perfectly lined up with the center. He just has to get the nose above and onto the landing pad so you can drive off. Depending on where you do this is how you want to arrange it. Uh, you can actually load up. You don't have to load up from that platform you saw there at Sarva. You can load up from any cliff that you can get a galaxy underneath. There's a place at Vanu Archives you can do that, and there's places all over in the NC territory currently. So you can see, down I go onto the landing pad. We'll hop out there. Actually, yep, see, here we are. We are on on the landing pad. Who's a good boy? Yeah, you're a good little galaxy. You're a good boy. So a few hours later, and a couple of failed attempts, you can see we have the whole crew up here. 
every vehicle that should not be up here is currently up here, and I'll uh, go over our names here in a second just to give you uh, a little shout out to my uh, my friends that helped us out. Uh, we have Meg Ray in the Galaxy. We have Surprise, who was flying a Galaxy earlier. Nabarek, Raina Sand, and Coop Moore holding on to the vehicles there for me. And I'll leave you with our dance party here. Enjoy. Enjoy. 